Hi, and welcome to the Clarity Introduction to Tasks video. I am Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity. In this video, I will help you understand how to interact with tasks in Clarity. This video is the first of a series of four videos on the Tasks module in Clarity. It provides an overview of the Tasks module and gives you a sneak peek at the different layouts available in this module. It's critical to remember that the Tasks module is a generic module and is available across various investment types in Clarity. In Clarity 15.8, you can create tasks for projects and custom investments. While we will demonstrate tasks in the context of projects in this video, Remember that the concepts covered here can be applied for both projects and custom investments. Let us log into Clarity, open projects, and navigate to the Tasks module. Here you can see three different layouts. This is the Timeline layout, where you can view and manage tasks in a hierarchical timeline. It helps to manage multiple sub-level tasks and their relationships. This is the board layout, where you can view project tasks as cards. Here you can arrange the cards with drag and drop precision on a board layout with column or swim lanes. This is the grid layout. It is used to analyze project tasks quickly by using an Excel-inspired grid layout. Now that we know the different layouts, Let's return to the Timeline layout and understand the typical work breakdown structure for any project. It includes phases, milestones, and tasks. A task is a unit of work in a plan that is assigned to one or more resources for a specific period. In this example, defining a resource plan is a task. Milestones help you track and measure progress. The milestone is complete only when all the tasks in the planning phase are completed. In this example, planning gate complete is a milestone. You can group related tasks and milestones under common phase in the project lifecycle. In this example, the planning phase covers all the tasks associated with planning. Next, let's examine key functionalities that are available across all layouts. You can use the three-dot actions menu to launch the PPM Gantt and view the details of the tasks. Let us close this classic Gantt and navigate back to the Tasks module. The three-dot actions menu also allows you to download the tasks and edit them using either Microsoft Project or Open Workbench. Let's configure this by using the Project Scheduler Format attribute. Another key functionality available across all layouts is filtering. Let's review all the tasks for this month that have not started. You can quickly identify these tasks and reach out to the relevant resources to get a quick update. Let's select a task and open the Details panel. This panel is also available across all layouts. Let's add a couple of important fields to the Detail pane. Let's add the critical field to the layout. Let's also add a couple of to-do items to this task. Whenever the resource logs into Clarity, they can click Tasks and view the to-do items and work on them. Since this task is already delayed, let's assign another resource to this task. Let's add a couple of important links to the task. This link includes information that will allow resources to quickly complete the task. Finally, let's use the Conversations option to contact the resource and get an update on the status of the task. The last key functionality available across all task layouts is the ability to save views. 
Let's save this view and mark it as a favorite. Administrators with appropriate access rights can also set default views for all users in the organization. I'm sure you now understand the importance of the Tasks module, types of layouts, and the standard features across all the layouts. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about this product, click the Information Bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.